Um, this individual here has got a um, case of identity crisis. Okay. And it is on like the highest level of identity crisis because this individual here is identifying himself as one of the original beings. He's identifying himself as a Tartarian. And we all know that the Tartarians were dark skinned individuals with nappy hair or locks or some of us had straight hair, but we were all dark skinned individuals. There were no Tartarians who were what you call Saxons or what the modern day Caucasians. Look at this dude here. He don't even have a soul. Look at his eyes. He's got a soul. This brother here has got a soul. You can see his soul. <laughs> but for some reason, this brother here is pointing to this guy. Like this guy is speaking something Huge revelation, the shit that we already knew. Check out this message here, okay? The reason that our captors keep doing these resets, like the Tartarian mud flood and the 2030 Great Reset, is because eventually we always remember. Fortunately for us, our book of life, or DNA, has all the old chapters still written in it, and they don't know how to get those chapters out. What they do instead is genetically modify us so we turn into different beings. We used to be much different than we are today. They also tell us that all of that DNA that stores the ancestors' memories is junk, so we don't look into it. They also put RNA and DNA blockers on the genetic chain so it turns off a bunch of our DNA. This limits our lifespan, intelligence, melanation, and much more. But like I said, lucky enough for us, we always end up remembering because all that DNA is still there. And some of us even know how to turn it back on and access those memories. And what happens every now and then is there's a critical mass of remembrance, which then automatically leads to us turning our superpowers back on. It always starts with one person who then electrically activates other people to start remembering as well. They start tapping into these memories and then they start telling other people about it. Meanwhile, that morphogenetic field is being activated to turn all of us back on so we can wake up. Their only answer to this is to wipe out civilization, burn all the books in the library, rewrite history, and throw anyone that disagrees into an insane asylum. This is what happened during the Tartarian mud floods. What memories does he have? And then, this whoever did this said, I shade demigod. This ain't no fucking demigod. This is a Saxon. <laughs> Without a soul. But he's got an identity crisis. And see, this is what's going on. The energy here, the energy that we're dealing with, the energy that's coming down, is literally causing these Saxons. You know, we're talking about their memory. Say so they losing memory. So basically, if they begin to tap into our memories, they're going to, they, uh, because the memory of who they are is leaving. And, it's, and then they tap into our memory and uh, tap into our teachings, but not into our memory. They can't tap into our memory. They tap into our teachings, the teachings that we give. And then what do they do? They regurgitate, they regurgitate everything that we say. All right. To make it seem like or to appear to be us. <sighs> this is... This is fucking crazy, but this is insane at the same time. This is literally an identity crisis where they're trying to identify themselves as us because they're losing the memory of who they are. <laughs> and it's going to get worse for them. It's going to get worse. We got a huge solar flare that just come in today. And as and it's coming from our collective sun, but I felt it in our atmospheric sun. And um, as soon as it came through, um, I flip. You know, I'm just flipping through um, notifications, and I see World News Report, uh, a class uh, six M flare, and Corona mass ejections come in. And I felt it in our atmospheric sun because the energy was beautiful. So as this energy comes down, um, we told we told you the solar flares and 
Corona Mass and Jackson's hurt their brains, hurts their, their bodies, and they actually try to identify themselves as us. They don't have a memory. They don't have a library. They don't have Acacian memories. They don't have superpowers. But, you know, they think they do because as these super flashes are coming down, they're losing memory and their bodies are breaking down. All right. Just watch as the energy it becomes more intense. Remember, we're in the gates of Helios, the gates of a thousand suns, and this is for a whole 360 days. Remember that. All right, guys. What's the gates? No, the gates. I'm sorry, the gates of Helios was for 720 days. It's for the gates of Helios. We're 720 days for the gates of Helios. I'm sorry for that. So we're in the gates of Helios, 720 days, which is equivalent to what about two years? Okay. So and it gets more intense, and it gets more intense, and it gets more intense. It doesn't stop. The intensity doesn't stop. These beings literally are in a state of identity crisis. He actually said that. <sighs> let's let's just let it play one more time. Let's let it play one more time. It's like the Tartarian mud flood and the 2030 Great Reset is because eventually we always remember. Fortunately for us, our book of life or DNA has all the old chapters still written in it. And they don't know how to get those chapters out. There are no old chapters in their DNA. These Saxons, as you remember what we talked about in the, in the early 1900s. Hundreds of thousands of clones. Hundreds of thousands of clones. They have nothing. And this brother here pointing towards him. Why the hell are you doing that? Hmm. Why is he pointing towards him? Makes no sense. <laughs> I guess he's trying to identify the message with us, but the sex in here. And other saxons are pretty sure are watching this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Because they're losing memory of who they are. What they do instead is genetically modify us so we turn into different beings. We used to be much different than we are today. They also tell us that all of that DNA that stores the ancestors' memories is junk so we don't look into it. They also put RNA and DNA blockers on the genetic chain so it turns off a bunch of our DNA. This limits our lifespan, intelligence, melanation, and much more. No soul. So if you have no soul, how can you have a genetic pass? No soul. Look in his eyes. No soul. Look carefully. No soul. I look at this brother here. There's a soul there. You see his soul. No soul. That's a soul. Look into his eyes and see his soul. No soul. So how can you have memories if you don't have a soul? It's impossible. But like I said, lucky enough for us, we always end up remembering because all that DNA is still there. And some of us even know how to turn it back on and access those memories. And what happens every now and then is there's a critical mass of remembrance, which then automatically leads to us turning our superpowers back on. It always starts with one person who then electrically activates other people to start remembering as well. They start tapping into these memories and then they start telling other people about it. Meanwhile, that morphogenetic field is being activated to turn all of us back on so we can wake up. Their only answer to this is to wipe out civilization, burn all the books in the library, rewrite history, and throw anyone that disagrees into an insane asylum. This is what happened during the Tartarian mud floods. All right. You see what I'm saying? He just literally repeated everything all of us have said. Because he has an identity crisis. We're going to see more, more of this, brothers. So, so don't think it's strange. These Saxons began to recurgitate the things that we said because 
they are they 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 the these solar flares get stronger and the energy gets stronger. Their brains are, be, are going to begin deteriorating as they are now, and they're going to try to identify themselves with with others. All right, they're going to try to identify themselves with others, and this is the only way that they're going to try to survive. Whoever they're around, if it's an animal or if, or if it's an original being, they're going to try to identify themselves. This is reality, guys. I'll let you later.